Hey guys, Colton here at SEMA 2023, and today we're going to show you exactly why you can't get your hands on a new Super Duty, and that's because they're all here. So let's run down all these vehicles and show you the best ones we can find. First up, this silver Lariat Super Duty. This one is upfitted with a wicked suspension system, TIS wheels, Fab Force bumpers, and a whole lot more. Pretty clean little build, especially for the size. This is probably one of the smaller Super Duties you're going to see in this video. And just as a comparison, if you didn't know, I'm six foot three. Although I'm not one of the guys that loves massive wheels on their truck, I love the fact that this is a brand new F450. So you get things like the upgraded front axle, a tighter turning radius, and a whole lot of things. Pretty clean little build, even though I probably would go for a little bit smaller of a wheel. This one caught my eye because it actually says trimmer on the back. I haven't seen a ton of trimmers, but it does have an any level lift on it, which means this thing can go up and down probably up to 15 different inches. A set of Toyo Open Country tires here, some B-Lock wheels. This is just an awesome looking build with a bunch of custom work on it, and we love it. I don't even know where to start with this thing, so enjoy this montage. So th 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 this is an F-350. Hey, at least it's got a work bed on the back. This is a beautiful example of what you can do with an F-450 with the dual rear wheels. But one thing I did notice walking by this thing is Bluetooth rear drive shaft. First time I ever saw that, beautiful build, but I do not like that. So say you love wakeboarding, but you spend all your money on your boat, but you still want a wake tower. Well, here's your truck. Not only does it have a wakeboard tower on the back, they actually use the uh, access or accessible step right here to, to add in your functions for the Rockford Fosgate speakers. Here's a simple but clean build on a brand new Super Duty. I like it. I do wish that the wheels were a little bit smaller, but once again, that's personal taste. Everything else with the paint match looks fantastic. To me, this is the perfect Super Duty build. It's not too much, not too little. Love the size of the wheels and the tires. It's absolutely perfect in my opinion. Over at the Weston booth, we just got this uh, F-250 right here. It's a Lariat. It's got some uh, all-terrain tires on. It's matched market wheels. These steps are a little interesting. That's what kind of caught my eye on it. It's got this work toolbox on the back as well. If you're enjoying this video though, you're gonna have to watch it because we've also got a Bronco over here at the Weston booth that Mitchell's about to talk about. This is a pretty clean build for a lot of different reasons. Number one, it's clean. Number two, it's got one of my favorite bumpers on the planet, the Fab Fours front bumper. Fun fact for you, this exact same bumper is on the F-250 that we're giving away. And if you haven't had a chance to, click on the link down below and get entered to win that particular vehicle. Because the crazy thing about it is, we're running 10 times entries for a limited time. And if you click on that link, it'll automatically apply a discount code that you can't get anywhere else. So click on that link down below to enter to win that Super Duty. We are at the Liquid Spring Brew, 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 Brew. We are at the Liquid Spring booth, and this is a pretty sweet little 23 Super Duty. I love the color. Y'all know I'm a gray fan, uh, but obviously you've got your liquid springs in this vehicle. It's designed to have, instead of a coil spring, you've got a liquid-based spring itself. But this truck compares nothing to this one. Take a look at this F550 with 43-inch tires on it. This thing is massive. Now, I'm guessing on the 43s, to be specific, they are 365 8020s. This is, without a question, my favorite Super Duty I have seen yet. We're at the Icon Vehicle Dynamics booth, and we have this awesome 23 uh, F-250 here. As you can see, it's got some wider fenders on it, but it does have the 3.0 coilover system with the electronic uh, damping control with the 3.5 shock. On the rear, it's got the 3.5 shock with the electronic damping control as well. This thing probably rides amazing off-road. Uh, it's just beautiful. I like this thing right here. Got a Kelderman lift, air ride suspension. You got some decently sized wheels and tires. The truck's not too big, uh, but one of my favorite things, I don't know what it is, but I'm a sucker for these work bodies. I absolutely love the fact that you can work out of this truck and play out of it. All right, we're gonna run through this thing real quick. We've got a ranch hand front bumper. We've got TIS wheels, Geolander, Yokohama tires. We've got a ready lift level with Falcon shocks. We've got some custom step rails. This is a dually, which really looks really nice. It's got a toolbox, a ranch hand headache bar. We've got a gooseneck ready to go and a rear bumper. I know this video is supposed to be about the newest generation of Super Duty, and this one isn't, but Colton, I found you something. Hmm. There you go. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. I, I actually needed this. 
not everybody six foot three. This is a super unique FI-50 Lariat. It has a super tramp camper on it. As you can see, this is a huge camper. You can live in this thing so easy. Um, it's got some big fender flares to cover up those 40 inch tires. Those are military grade tires. Uh, you got the custom front bumper. It's color matched. You got some bed lining all over it. This is a really, really awesome build that I think I'm going to sell my house and just live out of this thing. We have a neon green and a black combination. Looks pretty good. Once again, not something I probably would daily, but at SEMA show it's a good looking rig. I will tell you though, even though you've got these massive wheels, tires, and the suspension system, but it's not every day that you see a toy taco that is taller than a Super Duty. This is a super unique Super Duty that we saw. As you can see, they've got some dirt box snowmobile conversion on the back of it. Got some huge tires, giant lift. Kind of a simpler build than what we've seen, but the snowmobile is really set it off. So right here we have the Platy Daddy. It's got a level on it. It's got some JTX wheels. Uh, they're pretty big. Uh, 18 lug conversion. This is a pretty clean, uh, simple build. It's got an aftermarket bumper front and rear. Uh, not too flashy, but color match. And I think this is an overall just clean, nice build. So this is not a new body style uh, Super Duty, but we had to mention this thing. It's got 58 inch tires. And to fit those, they have the Fab Fours open fender system that can be found on our giveaway Super Duty right now. Uh, make sure you go down, click the link below, get your entries. Uh, this thing is just gigantic. It's probably the biggest vehicle here at SEMA. It's got rear wheel steering. It's got all kinds of crazy stuff. And it's got both drive shaft which is a big plus. This Super Duty is so wild primarily because of the Gulf livery. You've got this blue with the orange mixed in with the orange on the wheels. A pretty sweet little setup especially with the any level lift where you can completely adjust how high the vehicle rides but you're not going to be sacrificing the quality of the ride because of those king shocks. This is an extremely unique build. This is a platinum Super Duty but with a regular cab. Delfab built this thing and it has got all of the functionality of the platinum model as far as the seats are concerned, the air conditioned seats, the remote tailgate up and down. They did a great job building this truck and it is upfitted on 40 inch tires. Well, there it is, guys. Those are the, well, there it is, guys. Those are the Super Duties from SEMA from 2023. If you like this content, make sure you hop on over and check out the Bronco content we did for 2023 SEMA. We really appreciate y'all watching these videos. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Peace.